Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ale Alejandra here. And today I have a really awesome video, but before we get into the video, I just wanted to kind of give a little brief um, overview on what you guys are about to see. So I decided to make a video on a thrifting adventure me and Makeup by Sophia um, went on. And I kind of did it with the intentions of kind of inspiring you guys to go out there and really um, experiment with your fashion. But not only that, I think that there is a bigger message is that um, we, I think, have to start considering being a little bit more environmentally conscious. Sometimes we live our life on autopilot and don't realize what type of impact our actions are having on the environment. A great way to alleviate that pressure on the environment is by thrift store shopping. I've been meaning to make this video for a really long time concerning this issue that I find is really important to make people aware and conscious of second nature choices that we make every day. This video hopefully gets you a little bit inspired to do a little bit more thrifting just because the fashion industry is definitely one of the most damaging to the environment. So whatever we can do, little little things here and there, I think really make a big impact in the end of the day. So I hope that you guys are able to take a little bit of um, that from this video. We had a lot of fun filming this video. I also went ahead and did like a little lookbook kind of um, segment in the video just kind of showcasing all the looks that I created from all my thrift store finds and um, you're going to be definitely surprised to see um, some of the looks that I created just because I mean you would never think to find such awesome stuff at a thrift store but um, there's a lot of really great benefits to thrift store shopping and to start off i mean the environmental aspect is one of them but also you get a little bit more variety in clothing um nowadays i feel like everything is so trendy and in season and this and that so you're going to find a lot of the same stuff um throughout a lot of the uh, more fast fashion type of stores yeah, I think it allows you to kind of get a little bit more creative and become aware of your own personal style. Benefits to thrift store shopping, so affordability, I think is something that we can all relate to. We're all trying to always definitely save a dollar here or two. You could find a lot of really cool vintage pieces and things that maybe um, you wouldn't see typically nowadays. But um, there is definitely a lot of really cool things that you can also find miscellaneous wise besides clothing. Um, so I definitely would recommend even for like furniture and just any type of house goods and stuff like that. I mean, I would kind of like be a little bit careful with some of the stuff, but um, for sure, I definitely feel like you can definitely find a lot of really great things that you can totally recycle um and like make new again and just like definitely get like the most use out of something you know i think nowadays we are so quick to just buy something brand new um and just so wasteful i also decided to put together a little list of tips that i would have when thrift store shopping um so starting off is like getting inspiration so whether it be from pinterest or pictures in a magazine maybe friends styles i don't know um just definitely have like um things in mind that you would want to kind of go looking for because it definitely can be a little bit overwhelming sometimes i like just going through every single thing and just you never know what you're gonna find. So also don't always look at something for what it is. And I mean, in the sense of you could always remake it or do something to it to make it a little bit better. Maybe you like the buttons, maybe you like the fabric. I think that um, you can always get a little creative and do something with it, whether it be embellishing, sewing, um, I don't know, just get creative. Going to various thrift stores is always gonna give you a higher uh, chance that you're going to find something. Um, I also 
would recommend going frequently, even if it's the same one, because they're constantly getting new things in all the time. So it's always good to check. Um, I would get myself in trouble if I was going constantly, but every time I do, I always end up leaving with a good amount of stuff. A really great documentary that I actually saw a few years back, um, you can actually find it on Netflix. It is called The True Cost. That documentary really got me questioning whether or not I should be supporting a lot of these larger corporations. At the end of the day, the corporation's agenda is not concerning any type of environmental issues and are trying to just make their money. The impact on the environment and the people producing the clothing is crazy. As consumers, we have the power to invest into corporations that don't have our best interests, nor the environment. Their agenda is to profit and Good morning, everyone. So uh, I just woke up not too long ago. I actually was meant to wake up at seven o'clock. I'm gonna be a little quiet. Uh, she's awake. The beast has awoken. <laughs> so I share a room with my sister, if you guys didn't know. But I'm gonna be going on a little adventure with Sophie today. If you guys don't know who she is, her name is Makeup by Sophie. Sophia? So it's Makeup by Sophia. So Makeup X Sophia. Um, her name is Sophia Martinez. We worked at NYX Cosmetics together. Sweetest girl ever. Um, anyways, we plan on going to Hawaiian Gardens today. We wanted to go a little thrifting and potentially go get a boba. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go brush my teeth and wash my face and drink some coffee, of course, and we'll get our day going. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna wash my face now. I've been using the Lancome Cream Radiant Gentle Cleansing Creamy Foam Face Wash. I ordered it um, through our work, and it's been working out really great. A little goes a long way. I really like how clean my face feels after, and it doesn't feel super dried out. Um, definitely a must-have. an hour to do makeup. I'm going to do something really natural. I always like starting off by moisturizing and like the face wash. I got this Lancome sunscreen moisturizer and it's been saving my life. I really really like how moisturizing it is. It doesn't feel oily at all. So I always like doing this first before anything. Then I just go in I've been obsessed with this Pure Cosmetics foundation sticks. I don't know what color this is, so I could not tell you. But I love the consistency and the formula of these. These are really nice and creamy. So if you have dry skin, this is going to be really good. It'll give you some nice moisture. Um, you really have to set it, though. So um, make sure you have a good setting powder. I have the Makeup Forever one right here. Um, it's a little bit yellow, and it darkens me up a little bit, but it gives me a nice little tan look. Um, if you want something more brightening, I would definitely get something lighter. That one's a little bit, I don't want to say dark, but it's yellow, so it gives me a little bit more color. Um, next thing, um, I've been using this Spackle Mattifying Oil Control Primer from Laura Geller. Um, and I really, really like it. The consistency is really nice. The formula is a really nice and mattifying, but it doesn't feel like drying or anything. Okay, so I just finished my makeup. I did something super natural. I just used our Worth the Hype Mascara from NYX Cosmetics. I used Moonwalk um, Lip Liner and Cabo Soft Matte Lip Cream. I'm trying to think of what blush I used. Oh, it was a Chanel one, I think. Let me see. Give me one second. So I use this blush. It's the Chanel one, um, 320 Rouge Profonde. Profonde. Mm. Um, yeah, it just 
give me a little bit of color. And I'm just waiting for Sophie. I need a change still. Kind of look like a bum. <coughs> um, but makeup looks hella cute. So I'm going to change and then she should be almost here. Alrighty, you guys. So I chose my outfit for the day. So I decided to wear a button up and tied it around my waist. And I'm wearing some like schoolboy uniform pants. And they're a little bit short on the leg. So I'm going to wear some like ankle booties so that it kind of balances it out really well. And then I, I put a bomber jacket on top of everything. So my cute outfit for the day. Alright you guys, Sophie is finally here. Alrighty, you guys, so we have arrived. Sophia got us here nice and safe. <laughs> so we're about to go inside. Um, yeah, this isn't my first time here, so I'm really excited. Hopefully they got some new stuff. I'm sure they get stuff out, like, pretty frequently. I mean, people are always bringing in stuff and selling. That's another aspect to this. So normally I actually come here and I sell stuff, but today just doing some shopping. We're doing a lot of shopping, yeah. hopefully, because your girl needs to <laughs> You <clothes>. are. <laughs> I need to be good. I, I know. Need... I know. Same. Yeah. I'm like... We'll try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I do have, like, I do want to look for, like, a black denim skirt. That's what I've been totally Ooh. looking for. Yeah. I want it to look, like, kind of distressed. I want a, a black denim jacket. Ooh. I know. Yeah. We'll I'm see. sure they have a lot of denim in here, so... Ooh, yes. Ooh. Okay. We so we have Plato's closet. <laughs> <laughs> they sell nothing but Plato's. Yeah, they sell nothing but Plato's here, so come get your Plato's. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Come buy, sell, trade. You oh. feel? Oh. <laughs> Hi. So of course, we gotta hit the sell side. I don't know if you guys know, but there is a sell side here. Um, so it's gonna be everything that is gonna be with the red. Um, so if you don't already think that it's already so inexpensive, then check out the sell side. You'll definitely find some good stuff there as well. Oh my God, you guys, I spotted these shoes. I'm fucking loving it. They are so cute checkered platforms. They aren't my size, but I wish they were because I would fucking die to have these. Oh yeah, this is totally your vibe right here. That is a really cute. Yeah, same. Those shorts are super cute. I always love a good high-waisted moment. Ay. So is there anything in specific you're looking for? I have a jean addiction, so I just found some jeans. I don't know how I feel about them yet, and they're a size bigger than what I am, but it's okay. Right? Yeah, I mean, what do you mean? It's a boyfriend cut. Exactly. Those are boyfriend jeans. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah. No, but then I also want to look for some, like, summer dresses, you know, like, when it's hot, you just want to put something on, put some cute shoes and trip. Mmm, I'm Hopefully feeling that. Fine. Yes, we need those sheer fabrics. So I'm actually thinking about finding a denim skirt, but I also am thinking that I want to buy some sweaters because it's always freaking freezing in the break room. Can you attest to that? Yes. It's always hella freezing in there. Well, when I worked at Cerritos, mm -hmm. that was the coldest freaking room I've ever been in. Oh my god, it's like an ice chest in there. Literally. So I'm going to look for some black. Black That's is always sweet. good. I know, I'm like, I feel like I should do this. <laughs> Hi. It's okay. Hi. <laughs> okay, you guys. So I had to show you guys these pants. They are so dope. I just wish they were my size. But totally 70s vibe right here. I would definitely wear this. Something cropped, of course, because you got some high waist action again. Um, I love me a good flare. But definitely good for summer and spring because they're nice and airy as well. Yes. Oh my god, with a really nice high heel. Hey. Oh my god, those are cute. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, hi. Oh, hi. So I ended up finding these two skirts. This is from Garota. This is actually a store that was right by our work in oh, the yeah. Mall. And I'm probably just gonna end up dying this black um, just because I can't find a black skirt. And it's $3.50, y'all. $3.50. Mm -hmm. And then I found this one. I really like this like little detail up here. It just kind of like has like a little V shape going. But this is really cute as well. Probably gonna dye it black as well. Um, this one's six dollars. So. And then she. The <laughs> I've got the entire store to try on, so I'll show you guys later. But we got a lot of good stuff. This one I actually just found, and I think it's super cute. I'm hoping it fits, and it's not too small. Oh my god, that but is so cute. Super cute for the summer. It's got. Okay. I call these the coochie cutters because <laughs> it oh, cuts so your coochie. Oh, and I found this really cute sweater. Very 90s, very grunge. I also spotted these shoes right over here. A nice little metallic moment. So cute. I don't know why I'm drawn to all these really disco-y 70s looks. All right, guys, so I grabbed a handful of things, actually of more than a handful, it's an armful of things, and I ended up only leaving with one, and I thought it was really cute. I think I would probably wear this more now that I think about it when I had blonde hair, but it's a cute little romper. It's got a lot of buttons on it. I would have buttoned it up for you guys, but that's a lot of time and effort. It's really, to really put cute though. It. I think it's gonna look good with your hair and your your skin Hopefully. color and everything. Yeah. <gasps> so that's what super, I super got. Cute. Ali, on the other hand, <laughs> already. I came. I know. I'm already flexing wow. my thrift finds over here. So I got this um, little captain looking hat. I okay. really love it. I had to put one of the skirts away because I'm like, I should just get one and then I could get the hat. Um, but I ended up getting this skirt. It's a nice denim skirt. So cute. Um, I'm gonna probably dye it black because I've been wanting a black skirt and I just couldn't find one that I liked, like the style wise of it. Um, and then I found this sweater, so. And I think I showed this one to you guys. Yeah, it's this one's really cute. cute. Yeah. It's long. I you love it. some thigh high boots. Um, Mm -hmm. Some knee length socks, like you mm -hmm. know, just really comfortable, you know, um, but stylish. Exactly. Keeping it stylish. She made a whole outfit today. Mm -hmm. um, so, right now we're currently at Long Beach Town Center. We're gonna grab some boba from Roasting Waters. Oui. Well, depending. I'm either gonna get coffee or boba, but we'll see once we get in. The, yeah, the I've never been, but she's always going. I know that she always goes and she's always like ranting about it. So it's let's see if so she's good. making it, talking it up. As I like know. I'm just kidding. I'm sure it's really bomb. I love Boba, but All right. I, yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll see you guys in there. This is my sister, everybody. Look at her. We were, we I, were separated at birth. We really were. I decided to change into the same shoes. So we could be matching. So that we matching. would match. I wish you could see, but my shadow's in the way. Oh, there we go. And we got the green flannels. Oh, let me get that shot, girl. Yes, work it. Do a little runway. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. And here we are, roasting waters. Yes, with the water. I know. Oh. Store number two uh, off of where was this? I think it's Carson and Lola Boulevard. It's in Hawaiian Garden. This okay, is the okay. HD Grid store. It was just right across the street from Plato's Closet. Yeah. But if you guys want vintage, this is definitely vintage. Yeah, I feel like they have a lot of really good stuff. I mean, we haven't really gone through anything, but so far I'm excited to see what we can find. I, know. I already found some leggings actually. Oh, yes. <laughs> And this is for the guy. You got long coochie? <laughs> you got long coochie? Got you? We got you. You got that long coochie. You're giant? <laughs> Look at how incredibly. Wow. 
so you can pull it up to your boobs. Oh, no, no, no. This is a, a tube top slash pants. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that is so cute, dude. Is you look like cavewoman chic. <gasps> oh my god, I love this. If you're not getting it, I am. That looks so cute on you, though. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, she's taking you I'm to about court. To beat you. I am. <laughs> Okay, we just left the <laughs> Hold on, let me let me get you out of frame. Okay, we just left the previous one. We are now at Goodwill. And and good old Goodwill. <laughs> good old Goodwill. And I'm hoping to find some nice vintage jeans. And I'm looking to not find anything else because <laughs> I spent already <laughs> week. A lot, a lot. I'm just kidding. I didn't spend that much it money. Wasn't, it wasn't bad. I don't need anything like, else. Total thirty dollars, but you got a good amount yes, of stuff. I did got some cute stuff. But we're I gonna. Did <laughs> I did get. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and look for some jeans. Well, I am anyway because I'm obsessed with jeans and I really want to find some Levi's. And I haven't had luck up until hopefully today. Maybe you want some with a little fork <gasps> coming out of there. Those are cute. <laughs> no. <laughs> when, just in case you got there hungry. you go. So we're finally done with all the thrifting. I think for the day, would you agree? Yes. I think I'm pretty thrifted <laughs> out. My feet are kind of hurting now, mm -hmm. and I'm just kind of getting kind of hungry, so I don't really feel like talking, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're hungry. <laughs> yeah, we're getting kind of hangry over here. I have one more stop to go. I'm going to go pick up some Babe Lash for a couple people. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys don't know what Babe Lash is, it is what I use to make these babies grow hella long. Um, these are my natural lashes. Um, I've been using it for about almost, I want to say, two months already. I'm on my second tube, so um, yeah, hit me up if you need some babe lash. It's pretty freaking bomb. I'm, I want to get have, her on it. <gasps> have you guys seen her eyelashes? They are freaking, those are all hers. They're yes, amazing. I love them. And I'm just using Worth the Hype mascara, so... NYX Cosmetics Worth the Hike Mascara and just yeah, my natural lashes, lashes so but yes okay. we need to get her on babe lash so we're gonna stop by Cosmo Prof I'm gonna pick up some hair color and this lash serum and then we're heading to the mall because yes. we need to get some spoolies because we have some clients and stop by for some lunch yes we're probably gonna hit up Mod Pizza um we'll go ahead and share our outfits with you guys later on we could do like a little video or something and like give you guys a little lookbook show. video yes um I found a couple of things at the second thrift store that we went to and she just bought a really cute denim blouse like button up blouse so um we'll definitely show you guys our finds at the end of the video um but yeah Let's let's get to this beauty supply. <laughs> So I got a baby barbecue chicken pizza and Alejandra's looks actually better than mine does and hers is all veggie. Yes, and I got vegan cheese on top Has for she... all y'all non-dairy lovers. <laughs> I feel so bad, I'm over here eating. No, it's okay, not... <laughs> I want you to eat some. I was gonna tell you, I'm like, well, you should totally just get at this. This is $10, you guys. $10 to get that booty. Wow.
concludes my video. So hopefully you guys rethink where you guys purchase your clothing and if you really need a new item, just know that your efforts are definitely making an impact. I hope that this video inspired all of you guys to go out and thrift a little. I hope that you guys end up finding some really cool stuff if you do. If not, I hope that it inspired you to be a little bit more uh, conscious about the environment and just trying to be a little bit more sustainable. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions on any other videos. Um, don't forget to subscribe so that you guys can get notifications every time that I post a video. Thank you guys so much for watching again and I will catch you guys on my next video.